Hey, and welcome back to Workshop Wednesday. I'm going to take you on an adventure today. If you follow me in my Workshop Wednesdays, we do all sorts of projects, mostly around garment fitting. And although our topic does involve something that is common to garments, it's a little bit of a outside the ordinary project. And spoiler alert, it's a zipper repair. So I've got this project uh, from a friend. I don't know if you golf, but it's the favorite golf bag. Well, it really doesn't fit on this uh, screen view. Anyways, the zipper is busted and we've got to figure out how to get a new one in. Now golf season is just wrapping up here, so he probably doesn't need it till next year, but I'd like to get this bulky bag out of my sewing room. But let's take a look at how we can just problem solve uh, this project. Wherever we end up going on this adventure today, the most important thing I want you to take away from this video is that if you like to garment sew, you need to get familiar with zippers. Zippers are an amazing addition uh, to your Notion collection. I've known sewists that just avoid patterns uh, that have zippers in them. You really uh, limit the selection of patterns and even things that you can do with uh, repairs or problem solving through projects that maybe perhaps got a little tighter than intended and you can't really get it on but once it's on it's comfortable you can easily add a zipper to almost any garment so it's really really important to get comfortable with zippers and you will love them once you do and I'm actually going to be teaching in a couple weeks time a special a zipper workshop so if you're not quite there or maybe there's a specific type of zipper or installation that you're not really uh, comfortable with, then definitely keep a lookout. The email that shares the information of how you can sign up for that class, as it will be very uh, unique for the students that register for it. We're gonna really get into the types of zippers, struggles that you're having and get you familiar with them so you can easily apply them. Now, if you're watching this video and it's past that class or you're not on my email list, then go down to the description box and sign up because that is the best way to stay in touch with me and stay in touch with the live, in-person and tutorials uh, trainings that I do so that you don't miss out on any content and you can get your sewing really where you want it and have that professional look, finish and just variety in, in your sewing. Um, so without further ado, let's get back to our project at hand. This original zipper was a waterproof zipper and thankfully we actually don't need to uh, make the next zipper also a waterproof. Um, I ran that past uh, the owner and he said it's totally fine to have a regular zipper in here. You can see there's like some uh, tape over top of the stitching to just protect it. But what I can also see here where the zipper is just totally coming apart is that I can separate the teeth from the actual webbing of the original zipper. So my plan of attack is to just separate the teeth all the way along and then attach our new zipper right to that webbing. So the only real tricky part that I can kind of see right now uh, occurring is getting into this corner. It's quite tight on both sides as well as the second side, the side that's really attached to the bag might be a little tricky to get under my machine. I'm just gonna use my regular household machine for this one because it has the free arm. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get the bag underneath it uh, easier. The only trick with that is hopefully it's strong enough to stitch through this webbing and the webbing of the new zipper and all of this uh, rubber casing on the outside. So I'm gonna just grab this X-Acto knife and remove the teeth from the original zipper. So now that we've got that old zipper removed, let's see if we can get this adventure here going. I've got my sewing machine set up with the free arm, the part removed that I can remove, and I also have it here hanging off the corner of my cutting table. So I have a little bit of height and also some extra free movement for this bulky bag. And I'm just standing here right at the end of my machine. Thank goodness I can move this pedal around. I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to twist it all the way up to the beginning, but I can get into about an inch from the top. So that's not too bad if I have to stitch an inch by hand. So the trick is gonna be holding this bag while it's transporting through the machine 
and making sure that the zipper is going to be straight. So let's give this a go and see what happens. Well, my uh, machine can manage this heavy, heavy weight of the vinyl tape and the zipper. I'd like to stitch a little closer though. With this machine, I only have the center needle position or off to the left. So I unfortunately can't get closer to the edge. I also don't have like a zipper foot or something for this foot machine. I'm pretty much always using my industrial machines. And this one I just picked up because of sentimental value. I saw it for 10 bucks at a garage sale. And this is actually the model that I learned to sew on. So, of course, I had to pick it up. When we get through this tight area, as soon as we get below the bag into the lower portion, I think we'll be kind of home stretch free. But this is a tight, tight corner. I'm like balancing standing here on one foot. I feel like a flamingo. With my other foot on the pedal. I should actually be taking the video of what I look like. It'd be probably more entertaining than this. <laughs> so here we go, inch for inch. We're in the lower section. You can see here the bulky part of the bag as the pocket rounds over. Oh, but now I'm stuck. It looks like it might have been repaired here at one point with some kind of water, rubber, water protection stuff. And that's sticking to my pressure foot. Oh, there we go. Oh, my needle, my needle. Are we gonna make it or is it gonna break here? Let's see. The adventure continues. It's a little stuck. And let's see if we can get this out of here without it breaking. I think it's kind of twisted and that's why it's not wanting to come out. Well, that was an adventure, getting it unstuck from uh, the other machine. It was sewing it pretty well, but I really didn't like how far into the white the stitching was. So you can see here, I'm back at my industrial machine. And I'm wondering if maybe I sew the zipper from the inside, if I can kind of get it under this machine, even though it's in a table. Um, the only drawback with this is I can't see where what my stitching looks like on this top side as I feed it through. But I'm going to just try and bump it up real close to the teeth and then gauge my distance um, from the teeth to catch that back side. I might not be able to get quite as close into uh, the corners here, but let's give it a try. This is such a bulky project, especially with the camera in my face. <laughs> Adds another element of, of interest for me here, of challenge. So let's see if we can get it under this, this pressure foot even. You can see I have my really narrow foot on my machine. So this is like my zipper foot. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just gonna move it back over. I might have to sacrifice stitching a little bit more by hand to have the look that I want on the outside. This is where just functional doesn't work for me. My friend was like, oh, he loves this bag more than his other one. But of course, you know, the favorite things always wear out first right because you're using them so he's like if you can't fix the zipper then i'm just gonna have to get rid of it so just a functional fix is all he wants but i think i've spent too many years doing bridal the look matters the look matters to me so let's see let's see how this transports yeah i have to stitch about probably two and a half, three inches by hand. If I do it this way, 
It looks like I'm catching that bottom <laughs> lip. It'd be funny if I stitch the zipper all the way along and I'm just catching the weave or webbing of the zipper rather. Okay, here we go. I need like a, a sewing machine for shoe making for this project. That would be fantastic. Can get into all the little tight corners. Well, this is transporting nicely. Well, let's take a look at this. I actually had a brainwave and I was like, why am I using black thread? I'm just gonna use white. You can see it quite a bit on the inside, but that's the inside and it blends in so much better. I've stitched much closer to the edge, so I like that. Um, but I do have quite a large section at the ends that I can't get into with my industrial machine. So I think I'm going to rethread my um, regular household machine with white thread and then get in the corners a little bit farther and save myself some hand stitching. So aside from these little bits at the top or either end of the zipper that I'm probably going to have to just hand stitch, I'm just going to start off with the second side and what I've decided to do here is I'm going to stitch it in place with this um, machine with the free arm because I can get in a little bit closer and a little bit um, easier on the angles here and then I'm going to go back over to my industrial machine since it can stitch closer to the edge of the zipper because I just don't want there to be so much of a flap hanging around after I've stitched this down and then try and catch that edge over the main portion. This second half is going to be a little easier because it's kind of the outside flap of the pocket so it's not as tight up against the big bulky part of the bag but let's just see how this goes here and keep trucking along. Well, this machine just has a little bit of a struggle with the thickness of this bag. I might not even be able to stitch this. We'll see. Nope, it's stuck already. Well, after getting it unstuck for the third time on that household machine, I'm just going to pop over and do it here on my industrial. I can get way closer to the top of my zipper this time, so that's awesome with it being the outside flap. We're just gonna stitch it with this one and see if we even need to bother with the other machine again, cause that is just, it just doesn't have the power that this one has. This one just stitches like it's no big deal. It's just a matter of getting stuck at the wrong angle since it's stuck in the table or this machine doesn't have the free arm. But other than that, this machine sews like a dream. Anything, really. Here we go. That second side actually it didn't go too bad. Although I think I just invented sewing yoga. All the moves you have to do to hold the bag in place while you're stitching and balance everything. It would have been definitely more entertaining to watch, uh, watch me. <laughs> balancing these things rather than my project at hand but let's take a look there's a bit of a hole here at the bottom where I couldn't get in and when we do it up the zipper is a little loose here at the top so I'm going to pull out my thimble and stitch this up just by hand I don't use a thimble very often but I feel like for this thick rubbery um, vinyls I'm going to need that to save my little fingers but other than that, I'm loving it. Here we go. The zipper is completed. Yay! Well, that wraps up this episode of Workshop Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this random episode and going on this adventure with me. I love challenges in my sewing room and just new projects that I have to think through and problem solve. But if you're not quite yet there, then definitely reach out and get connected. I'd love to share more about the opportunities of the just classes that you can be in, involved in. And I'd love to help you get your sewing to a place where you're really confident and independent. And you can sew whatever it is that you really want to sew. So reach out to me here, uh, join my Facebook group, DM me, and let's connect. And other than that, uh, take care and happy sewing, and I hope we'll see you again soon on the next episode of Workshop Wednesday.